from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I started as a salesman. I sold sewing machines and automobile parts, hairbrushes, and electronic equipment. They say I can sell anything. I'd like to try to sell something to you. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course. That teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. If you've got questions for your professor, call 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Chris on Legas 101. Hello. Tom, are you? Doing great. Hey, Tom. I'm 41 years old. Got a 20-year-old son. I got a vasectomy. I'm going out with a 40-year-old girl, and uh, she never wanted kids. Now uh, her brother had a kid, so now she wants kids. But the only way she expresses it is uh, when she's uh, drinking. And then she insults me, saying I'm not a real man because I can't have kids. And then she doesn't remember the next day. So I know what to do. I just need confirmation. You know what to do. (laughs) All right, just making sure. You shouldn't even be having these conversations. I, no, I never had a conversation with her. No, no, but I mean, if she's engaging in a conversation, huh? you you shouldn't be listening. You shouldn't be in the room. You shouldn't be with her. Oh, even when she's drunk? You shouldn't be with her, period. She wants to have a kid. So, that's, what's the best way, Tom? Just don't even call her or just uh, call her and say... I know you want to have kids. Uh, see you later. That's, that's it. You tell her she wants to have kids. She should be with a guy who wants to have kids, and that's not you. Because the problem is, if you stay with her, she's eventually going to find a way to make the condom leak if you're using condoms. Are I got, you? I got a vasectomy. That's the whole thing. When I started going out with her, she knew I got a vasectomy. And she's pissed off about that. Yeah, it comes out when she's drunk, though. Right, right. Uh, you know, why do you want to be around this? Why do you need a girlfriend? I hear you. I hear you. Uh, hell, I'm older than you. Yeah, what do you need a girlfriend for? This is the, this is the other part, Tom. I want to get rid of her, but her family loves me, and I, I don't want to look like the bad guy. But the, I don't. What do you care what you, what you look like? Once you break up with her, you're not going to see them again anyway. That's true. You're done. Thank you, Tom. All right. Can you take me out, Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 The Sleeker, faster than ever. Likus 101 with Tom Likus, your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Marcos on the Tom Likus Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. What's going on? Not much. Hey, Tom. Listen, I was. I'm a second time caller, about four time listener. Um, I wanted to especially call you on Thursdays. You know, I know it's like this 101, and I wanted just to let you know that I came across a 40 year old virgin from the north, and she's been putting pressure. What's up? Let's get married. Let's tie the knot. Let's go civil, and um. I'm just, I'm enjoying my life right now, single, live alone, pay my apartment. I'm working on the career, but she's putting pressure. She needs to get married for me to hit the sack. Wait a minute. If if you're not having sex with somebody, why are you dating? No, I'm trying. She's the, she's the, she's the virgin that I came across. Like I mentioned. But she's, wait, wait, wait. But she's how old? 40. She's a 40 year old virgin. There was a movie by that name, wasn't there? (laughs) <laughs> why, why would you want to be with a 40 year old virgin um, i'm almost close i'm i'm doing all the the little moves to get her going i already dipped the stick i'm there i'm just trying to get it going no but can... don't you understand she wants to have a baby let's start with that oh she's mexican and she yeah. wants to have a baby Damn, man. I I, look look marcos i've dated mexican women okay she's 40 and she wants to get married so she can have a family. Mm. 
whether she's had that conversation with you or not, has she? Have you not been listening to her, or has she not said it yet? She has not said it yet. Well, trust me. You've dated Mexican women. Are you? Am I wrong? I've dated them. Just, they give it up right away. <laughs> yeah, that's not the point. When they want to get married, what's the reason? All for family and this and this. To and have that. a family. All right. Right? Yeah. To have a family. Right? Yes. So when she's telling you she wants to get married, what does she want? Equals family makes... But I've been trying to discourage her and say, hey, You can I try to discourage her all she wants. All you want, she's 40 years old and a virgin. She, she has stuck to her principles. She is going to have sex with the person who marries her and makes her pregnant. Mm. Don't you understand that, Barb? Maybe. <laughs> Not maybe. Not maybe. Oh, well, Tom, so thanks for that, that advice, Tom. I'll just, you know, just get rid of her, I guess, and just move on. You have to, unless you want to get married and have a baby. All right, Tom. Hey, Tom, is there any way you could take me out Obama? What would that be? Change. What? <laughs> no, no, we're not doing that. Stupid. <laughs> Holy cow. Every time you think racism is on the decline, somebody makes a comment like that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Likus 101. I am your professor, Cody, on the Tom Likus Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Cody. Uh, what do you think about a 16-year-old having a relationship? Well, your phone, they give us a big blast of static when you uh, said what you were going to say. What do I think of what? A 16-year-old having a relationship with a girl. I'm totally opposed. Oh. Uh, then, okay, I want to know how to get a girl. Like, what do you say whenever you walk up? <laughs> no, 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 now you're just playing games with me. Now, hear no. your buddy in the background laughing it up. No, for real, I don't know how to do that. I thought you have a 16-year-old girlfriend. Mm hmm yeah, thanks for calling. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Neil on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Neil. I wish I could say the same, but I'm not. I'm in a world of hurt here. What's the problem? Self-inflicted, of course, because, you know, I had to go off and uh, get deployed. I'm in the military. So, um, while I was deployed, I'm married, by the way, of uh, six years. And, Why did you uh, get married? Oh, because I didn't listen to my father, who is an extreme long-time listener of yours. That's uh, basically because I'm an idiot. And because it was easier to move her up here. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, if, uh, you know, if you're married, you can travel with your spouse, wherever, yada, yada, yada. But that's, oh, and plus she's hot. Well, yeah, there's lots of hot women out there. But anywho, while I was deployed. Yeah, so, uh, so you know what, what I always say? You know, there's some nice cars out there. Lease, do not buy. Yeah, but see, that's the other thing. I, that, I'll get to that. This is like a three-part series right here. So much. Um, while I was deployed, she banged mm, probably like four or five people. Plus, I found out about another guy she banged while I was here, and, um... But what more do you need to know? Well, basically, we have a rule. Our rule is, we have one rule, and it's to tell each other everything. Well, uh, she doesn't obey that rule. Well, she did, but she waited uh, until, like, what, three and a half months into my deployment? That's not telling everything. No, it's not. And then, like, while I uh, was saying, all right, she was going out and doing a lot of things because we also have a child together, and the child was with my father, who is also a huge fan of yours, and you've talked to him before, and he advised that I talk to you, and he said that she was going out a lot, and then, like, I'd get reports from my friends, hey, uh, yeah, she's going out, and she's hanging out with these guys, and yada, 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 so I'd ask her about the situations, which seemed highly plausible that she would have sex in these situations. 
And she'd be like, oh, no, 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 not me. I'm not that type. Or uh, I, if I did, I would tell you, yada, yada, yada. Or she would get angry and be like, why do you always say that? And, of course, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And I knew in my gut of guts that this was going on. So then she finally told me, and I was like, okay, well, way to break the, the so-called trust. Um, that's part of it. All right, we don't have all day, so let's cut to the chase here. Um, okay. She screwed around on you. You were stupid enough to marry her, and then what? Um, the child. I, I really hate children. Why so, did you have a child? Well, I was. Um, well, I actually cheated on her first. Oh, I was Jesus initial... Christ! You know, pal, your life is a soap opera, and you it's... clearly like drama. You I like actually it. Actually, really prefer it where it's. Um... You know, we follow the rules. Um, no, you, know, you don't. Just, no, the, you she, don't follow the rules. You screw around on her. She screws around on you. You promise to tell each other things. You screw around on her. You don't call her from bed going, Honey, I'm going to be late tonight. You don't. I could, though. Oh, no, I you don't. Me, I would. She's that type of girl where I could do that. Matter of fact, but you her. didn't, and she doesn't either. Well, that wasn't the initial rule. This rule came up after I did it. Oh, uh, pal, look. Look, you're making this way more complicated than it needs to be. You claim not to like any of this stuff. You're still there. You're still with her. You're having kids with her. You say you don't like kids. You have a kid with her. I got a vasectomy the day after my son was born. And Why I did you have a kid in the first place? Tried to sneak the vasectomy in before the kid, but it was, you know. How about you like... sneak the condom in? Um, well, we were married by that time. That doesn't mean you don't use a condom. Uh, you got a point. I used a condom when I was married, just in case anyone decided to change their mind and hit the jackpot with my money. That's funny you say that, because, uh, like, when we were dating, she uh, we were talking on the phone, and she was like, yeah, I want eight kids, and how many kids do you want? I was like, zero. But that's <laughs> the time you got to get out, pal. Uh, that... And you didn't. Well, I was actually using her to get away from another chick. Oh, Oops. Jesus Christ. Can't you, you know, again, I, this drives me crazy. Guys like you who defend our country, you're braver than brave, and, and then at home you're a bunch of little pussies. That's what my dad said. He's yeah. right. Your father is right. He called me that yesterday. When He's I right. Your fa Listen to your dad. <laughs> he's gonna oh great he's probably listening right now he's saying yes i know who this is and you're such a pussy your dad is right but I don't why can't my... you be the same man at home that you are when you're flying a plane well see i don't understand that that's why i'm like calling in because it's like that's not my nature i'm such a normal playboy i was six years ago no anyway. you're no playboy you 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 step from lily pad to lily pad you always have to be in a relationship Mm. Fascinating. You are not capable of living alone, are you? Love being alone. You're That's not the... capable of living alone. Why do you have to? You go for a relationship, and then you have to get away from her, so you marry somebody else. That that's not somebody who enjoys living alone. Perhaps somebody who enjoys living alone. You know what they do? They live alone. Then how do you uh, still get it on the? Oh, I, I can. How do, do you get it? No, 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 I know. No, no. When you live alone, you don't have to get it on the side. You're on the side. You live on the side. And that's the thing, too, because I'm sitting at home every day listening to Dora the Explorer, and I, I can't stand it. It drives me crazy. Well, while, she's go while she goes to school, I'm sitting at home. Which you're paying for. Yeah, which I'm paying for. I'm sitting in the house. Right. And going to school. And you put yourself there, pal. Take up responsibility for that. Oh. Well, see, yeah, I want to take you up. You did it. You did it. You did it. Wait, I hope your fact. dad is listening because he agrees with me. You did this to yourself. She didn't do it to you. He didn't do it to you. The life didn't do it to you. The Air Force didn't do it to you. Your last girlfriend didn't do it, do it to you. You did it. How do I do it? How do I stop doing it? Live alone. Alone. See, uh, we have too much debt together to for me to do. Well, up. how did that happen? Oh, I like expensive cars. Well, you're a moron. And you know what else? Uh, when you get divorced, the debt is half hers and half yours. Yeah. Automatically? That's the law, unless you have a prenup. Hmm. Well, Get a lawyer. Ask a lawyer that question. 
that's the funny part because two of my best friends are lawyers. Well, and, and they probably don't have prenups either. Look, pal, I know you could sit here like a woman and blather on all day. Yeah, it's kind of long. And I'm sure you sit and you talk your friends' ears off and they're tired of listening to you. And they're trying to put up with the BS. Right. You, because the fact is you're another one of these people who loves to talk and doesn't like to do. All right, I'm ready to do. No, no, but doing means living alone. You like living alone? Start doing it. Okay. Start doing it. Carla, what did you want to say here to Neil? I wanted to ask, um, since he's messing around and his wife's messing around, has he checked on whether or not that kid's actually his? Well, unfortunately, I know the kid's definitely mine. How do you know? They do the, the whole test thing here for free. So you That's had a DNA test? Yeah. And you know for a fact that the DNA test has said that you are the father. Unfortunately, he is 100%, 100% mine. All right, well, then we know the answer. So <laughs> get get out. Got it? Stop talking and start doing it. Tom, 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 like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's like is 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Like is 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing great. This is Tom speaking to Tom. Oh, look at that. And I'm calling today because I think that based on the economy, I think that there's a possibility there may need to be an adjustment to like us 101 based on the dollar spending limit on dates. What do you think? No, quite the contrary. I think because of the tough economy, it's more important than ever uh, to live up to the $40 rule and uh, not to overspend. I think we I, I think we can spend less now, Tom. What do you think? Oh, I, you can always spend less. But, but I, I, I think we can spend so far, far. I less. always say on this program, zero is optimum. I, 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 I'd agree, and I think right now, the way the economy is, unemployment rate is is very high. I think there's a lot of very hot chicks that are unemployed. Uh, that uh, yeah, the, the amount that you need to spend has dropped which is ideally zero, like you say. That's the deal. I, 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 I've been a long-time listener, and uh, this is my first time calling, and uh, you run an extraordinary show, Tom. Well, Every time I listen, I, I look at my own life, and I go, wow, this is how I've lived, and I feel so proud of it now. I used to have to, I, I, but before I heard your show, Tom, I had to be very ashamed of the way I live, because I'm, I'm 40, and I've never been married. And I have no kids. And I had to be embarrassed of that. Yeah. The show is pre as prestigious as yours. I just say, now, have you ever heard of Tom Likas? And they just say yes or no. But uh, then I can refer him to your show and say, look, I'm not the only person on the planet that has these beliefs now. That's right. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's a fantastic way to live one's life. And uh, I, I love the way that you're always uh, showing how happy you are. Like, I, I, as I was as I was watching Obama last night, I'm in his, you know, I make over 250. Uh, but, you know, I look at it and I think, you know, even if he gets elected, which, you know, financially, I probably shouldn't do that, right, Tom? What? Vote, vote for vote. Obama? Yeah, based, I, I mean, I'm, 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 I make more than the plumber, you know? Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm, voting, I'm voting for Obama. I know, but, 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 but you're, in the, you're in the entertainment world. You know, it's easy. everybody in entertainment is Democratic except for, what, Dennis Miller. But I'm not a Democrat. Uh, no, 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 no. But, but I mean, you're going to vote, vote for Obama. Not necessarily. Well, put it this way. It depends on who his opponent was. And uh, I will never vote for John McCain. Oh, yeah. You, you know, I, I, look at, I just look at those. But don't think I haven't voted for Republicans. I have. Really, that, 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 I, I just look at it and I look at okay. Well, if I vote this way, my taxes go up. If I vote that way, the taxes go up. So I struggle with it. <laughs> Obama's clearly a smart guy. And, and well, I don't know how we get into politics here. It's like it's one hundred and one. But thank you for trying to do that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Jay on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jay. Um, I well, I don't know if it's really a dilemma or not. But I was telling uh, the person who took my call. I'm oh, who show. was that? What was his name? Uh, I didn't catch his name. I'm so sorry. Was that Dean you were talking to? 
I believe so. I Dean, could you step in here a second, please? Oh, Get Dean in here. Find out what you two talked about. Jeez. Have a seat, Dean. Almost made it the whole day. Almost made it. Well, sit down. Yeah. Have a seat. I'm talking to your good friend Jay, who's calling from Dallas. And uh, Jay tells me that you and I had, uh, no, that you and he had had quite the spirited conversation. What were you two talking about? Uh, let's see. Jay is uh, 23 years old. He's uh, He lives in Dallas. He has a baby mama with the two kids. He has kids. a baby mama? Did he tell you why he uh, had a kid? Oh, he has two kids. Two kids. That he, he felt that he was non-traditional uh, in that he has two kids at 23, and uh, he lives with his uh, baby mama. He didn't get into how... Like why he didn't get married and so forth. I right. figure I'd leave that on the table for you to talk too, about too, with him. Too bad he uh, didn't want to wait around and talk to me about this. Yeah, well, and <laughs> yes, unfortunately for me, uh, he didn't want to wait around. But uh, he was going to ask you if you f if it would be okay if he got a vasectomy. He already had the two kids. Now he wants to ask me this. Yeah. Now that he's had two uh, bastard children. Correct. Now he wants to know if this is a good idea. Well, it shows the genius of a 23-year-old, but he is stuck uh, in a house with two kids and, and a baby oh, mama. I, I think I think you should, have, by the way, in case he's still listening, I think you should have many more kids because uh, I'm going to be needing somebody to lube my car, and I've also got some tree trimming I need done. And, uh, you know, if everybody was smart and kept it in their pants, I would have to pay top dollar to get these jobs done. So that means Jay Jay should have more kids. According Tell Jay, to by the way, I'm not an environmentalist. Plastic is fine; doesn't have to be paper. I'll tell him. Will you let him know next I'll time? Say. Next time the two of you are having a conversation off the air, I certainly will. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Dean. There goes Dean. Great. <laughs> you know, what do I need to talk to Jay for? Jay and Dean already had the conversation. Done. <laughs> Dean's drinking scotch and, <laughs> and Dean is drinking scotch and talking to Jay. They're just chit chatting away in there. Twenty eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, I'm here it to is. Rock. Yes, he's always ready to rock. And it's like us one hundred and one. I'm your professor. Tom, like is one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Like is show. Hey, it's. The Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. I am your professor. Let's say hello here to Brad on the Tom Likas Show. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. Good to hear. All right. So, situation is... Um Long time listener. I've uh, listened to a lot of stuff that you've done and, and said. And, uh, haven't had any serious relationships. Just been going from girl to girl to girl. It's good news. That's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll say. <laughs> well, uh, I had a girlfriend for about two months just to see how it is. You know, I've been, uh, with a lot of different girls in the past eight years and wanted to see what it was like to have actually a real committed relationship. Well, I had one for about two months. It was going, Quite well for the past, or for the first uh, couple of weeks, and then uh, a good friend of mine, a real good friend of mine, started talking to her a lot, taking her places, doing things with her, and I didn't like it. Well, she didn't like the fact that I didn't like it because she considered him a friend. So I said, okay, fine. And uh, he was a uh, he was a really good friend of mine. Well, uh, I didn't uh, I didn't really trust her. And uh, I didn't really trust him, and it got to the point where we both broke up. It was mutual because I didn't trust her, and she didn't trust me. And I uh, found out that they actually started dating a couple weeks later. Now, my main question to you is, do I have any right to be pissed off that... Why do you care? I, for all my whole Let me ask life, you a question. When you throw... Do you, do you have a house or an apartment? A house. Do you recycle? Yes. When you put uh, aluminum Coke cans or Bud Light cans uh, into your recycle bin, mm -hmm. ever had somebody, like a homeless person, come take them out? <laughs> Not that I know of. <laughs> they probably do, right? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, would that piss you off? Not at all. Why not? 
Well, I, I see where you're getting at, Tom. I mean, all the girls that I've thrown away that I didn't have a relationship with, I didn't really care about. You know, if one of my friends slept with them, whatever, I didn't care. But the fact that I had this girlfriend and one of my friends actually started sleeping with her and hooking up with her after the fact, it's like I still got to see her face around because he's my friend. Yeah, but what do you care? You put her in the recycle bin. You know what all her shortcomings are. Right? Uh, yeah, I just don't see. I just think that's like, I don't know. I, I've Why never been do able you to care? Do I uh, just, I don't know, it's, it's something I go uh, against. I'd never hook up with any of my friends. It's not my point. Why do you care? I guess I just don't like to see her with one of my friends. But it's why like, do you care? You didn't want her. True. I mean, we tried working it out a little bit afterwards, but uh, by that time it was already too but late. But you didn't want her. Yeah, I figured I'd work things out since she stopped talking to him for a little bit, and then um, she stopped talking to me. Found out that she started dating him, so I was like, <laughs> so it's like almost like he uh, he CB'd me. Yeah. Well, I, look, let me give you an example. Somebody I used to be involved with, mm -hmm. I found out uh, long time afterwards that somebody I had done business with had her cell phone number and called her up the week after we split up. To say, hey, do you need anything? And then suddenly they become fast friends. Suddenly this guy is the center of her social life. And if you go to her Facebook page, you look there and everybody on the page, everybody, his, his brothers, his sisters, his family, his friends, everybody. This guy who I had once paid to do work for me, is now, uh, I'll put it this way, I don't know if they've had sex or not. All I know is they're very close friends. Hmm, know what that means. But, but here's the deal. What do I care? You know why I don't care? I put her in the recycle bin. I know all her shortcomings. You know, if he wants to spend money buying her things, paying for things, which I didn't want to do, by the way, uh, if he wants to deal with her uh, uh, not listening to him all the time, if, she, if he wants to deal with her uh, uh, yelling and screaming and having fits sometimes, you know what? Great! He'll find out the hard way. Shoot. <laughs> I, I, I agree what with you. What do I care? You know what? This guy's going to get what he deserves. <laughs> he's, what he should have thought, besides the fact that I'll never hire him to do any work again, nor will anyone I know, but what he should have thought of is, did you have any respect for me as a person in that, not not don't don't have sex with someone I, uh, I used to be involved with or don't be their friend or whatever. No, no. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if I dumped her, doesn't that tell you something? Why would you want her? If I put garbage in the recycle bin, trust me, I already used it. Now, on the note that you were saying, would you trust him as much, or would you just kind of like... nothing not him? to trust. The, the time not to trust somebody is when they're banging somebody while you're banging them. Yeah. That's, that's, that is stepping over the line. My attitude is this. If I decide that somebody is not worth being with, if I decide that somebody should be put in the recycle bin, I don't care which homeless person comes and pulls my old Philco TV out of the recycle bin. What do I care? I like you, your analogy. You're going to find out it doesn't work. You're going to find out you plug it in, the sparks fly out of it. You're going to find out you're going to have to pay to fix it all the time. Hmm. You're going to have to find out that it needs a $30 manicure three times a week. It expects you to pay for it. Native. <laughs> You're going to find out that uh, it wants a new car every two years? No. You know, whatever it is. The point is, if I threw something out, that means it has no use to me anymore. The best punishment the next guy could get is to ignore my best judgment and to try it out for himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Hey, I got a, I got a saying that I've uh, kind of made up. It's a uh, get in, get on, get off, get up, get out. I call it the five gets. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Blow me up, bud. Here you go, Brad.
one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom Tommy on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Father. Yes, sir. I got an important question to ask you, and I'll cut right to the chase here. All right. What is the Likas one hundred one rules regarding strip clubs? Uh, you don't spend any money when you're there. All right. What about cover charges? Well, you you have to pay a cover charge to get in to most of them. Right. So you pay your cover charge, you give them your driver's license, let them run your uh, driver's license, whatever. And yeah. you might want to have a drink or a cigar when you're there. You might want to have dinner. I know in Dallas there's a lot, plenty of great strip clubs and yes, that have great food and incredible wine lists and what have you. But, uh, you know, once uh, you've done that, you don't give money to strippers. I got it. Ever. Not even singles or anything? No. What are, you, what are you getting? I only pay for services rendered. I understand. And by the way, that chick's getting naked whether you give her a single or not. That is true. So if someone does not render services to me exclusively, I don't pay for them. I got it. And by the way, in terms of women, if a woman takes her clothes off, I still don't pay for it. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. But I certainly don't pay for services she's rendering to everybody in the room. Oh, of course not. I paid a cover charge. Yeah. I already paid my uh, my uh, my nut. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going out with the boys here in a little bit. I just wanted to check and make sure. Spend your money on an expensive cigar. They've got great cigars. They have a humidor at your favorite strip club. Yeah. Buy your favorite cigar. Sit there like a big spender and don't ever spend another penny. You got it. <laughs> thank you, Father. Tommy, thank you. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show with the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. Yeah, take a stopwatch and time them. This is not some empty hyperbole, folks. It's the real deal. Like us 101, I am your professor, 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to <laughs> Raymond of the Tom Likas yeah. Show. Yeah. Hey, yeah. But I got a situation I think I might need some help with. All right, let's hear it. Well, uh, seems like for the past about three years, I've been dating uh, one of my best friends, his mother. You've been dating? Well, I don't want to call it dating, but I've been having relations, I should say. You've been effing her? Too much. Now, how did this get started? How did it happen? Well, um, I would say around, maybe about, when I turned about 20, she kind of would come on to me. It was flirtatious. And uh, one time, my buddy had me doing some painting at the house. Uh, he took off, and next thing you know, she approached me. Uh, she's really hot. She's a, a Pilates instructor. She's 46 years old, fake boob. She's top-notch. So, I was about 22 years old. I couldn't resist. And really? We've been going at it. Wow. All right. And uh, she uh, knows to keep that a secret? I, you're the first person I've told. I haven't told no, none of No, but I'm asking you about her. Does she know to keep it a secret? I told nobody to my knowledge. But the thing is, I, my my friend, we've been friends for about... 20 plus years now. Right. And I. And, I and this has been going on for how many years now? Going on for about three years. Three years? Yeah. Now, does she want uh, anybody knowing about this? She, she's just. She's actually. Have never mentioned nothing. I've never opened my mouth. She's never opened her mouth. We just kind of kept it uh, mutual. We never talked about it. And now I'm concerned on, uh, you know, it's it's ongoing, and it don't look like it's going to stop. All right. So 
I'm I'm not too sure whether I come out in the open with this or well, your your friend's gonna flip out. I'm assuming he might. <laughs> I know. And, uh, trust me when I tell you. Yeah, but uh, from the way his mother looks, I mean, he gets it all the time. You know, hey, your mom's hot. Yeah, well, we'll screw your mom. It's joking, obviously, but uh, it's really happening. <laughs> wow. So, uh, and, and now I'm starting to get attached to where... What do you mean by attached? Uh, you know, I get emotions sometimes. What? Yes, yeah, it's, it's weird. She's I almost miss... twice your age. Yeah, the first year was no problem. I just banged her. It wasn't it was nothing. Now, uh, this last year, it's been more. It's been more seductively, uh, emotionally attached. I should say. You, you're kidding me. I, I, I mean, she's your friend's mom. For God's sake, you can't have anything happening there. I tried. I try to keep my emotions away. I did the best I can. Well, then maybe it's time I, for you to stop seeing her. I don't know. It's hard to stop. I mean, it's, this is great age. No, it's, it's not hard. Because would you rather have your best friend's mom than your best friend? Yeah, uh, you're right. I, I guess I would rather have my best friend. Well, then you I'm have to... lose that, that extra piece of cake that I'm Find getting. another piece of cake with a different last name, for God's sake. <laughs> it's, it's a little tough. So uh, you have no game? You're not able to find women? Uh, sometimes it's rough. How how hard can it be? Well, you know, she was the first old girl that I've dated. I should say I never dated anybody a year or two older than me. And so what? I you what? Now you have to date older women. Uh, now that you've had one, you, that's what you need to have. I I don't know. It seems like the girls. I'm my age asking are, you. Uh, yeah, I think so. Jesus. Yeah, so it's a bit complicated. That's why I think I needed some advice from you. I think you need to get out. If you want your best friend, you need to get out. I got to get out. Right. So, and do I mention to him after I get out, or do I just leave it a dead case? No, you leave it a dead issue. Leave it a dead issue. That's right. Oh. Uh, guys, look, if he finds out, You'll have to deal with the consequences. But there's yeah, no point true. in advertising it. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. Uh, so your best advice for me, leave it at this, dead is, and let it go. That's right. That's what I would do. Out. Leave it out. About it and uh, pretend you never did it and move on with your life. Uh, that's going to be a tough one, but uh Don't I be such I a drama. Don't be a drama decision. queen, Raymond. Don't be a drama queen. All right, uh, can you take me out with the bong rip and uh, Snoop Dogg style? I certainly can. Biatch! It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Rick, you're on with the professor. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, hey, hey how you doing? You hey, know hey, what? hey, 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 pick up the phone. Pick it up. Oh, I'm on my Oh, hold on. Let me get off the cell phone then. Oh. Okay. Can you, uh, can you hear me now? That was not a cell phone. That was a cordless phone in your house. Yes, that's right. It was a cordless phone. I'm a professional. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Hey, anyway, I've been listening to your show. I've been loving it. I've been taking your advice, and you will not believe what's been happening. Tell me. I've been going to Cabo San Lucas, Las Vegas, going back to Los Angeles and going dating girls. Dude, the guy just answered, dude, listen to Tom like it's and you'll be dating girls left and right. So the reason I'm calling is, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've been dating so many girls now. It's like, you know what? I just want to come home and rest and absolutely do nothing. And I'm loving it. So I just called to say that. Just did it uh, for that. And so, you, you know, so you've been going to Cabo San Lucas. Is that right? Yeah, I'm to Cabo <laughs> San Lucas. Uh, and, uh, Lucas right or there. Lucas? Yeah, it was really great, okay. and uh, the, the girls were paying for it. And I just got back from Vegas. Uh, my friend paid for it, you know, and now I'm back in L.A., and my friend wants to go out for a show, and she wants to pay for it. So I'm like, dude, this is unbelievable. And I just started listening to Tom Likas about what you said, and I was thinking, yeah, you know what, yeah. And it's been happening. So 
that's all. That's the reason I was calling. Rick, I am so proud. John on the Tom Likas show with your professor. Hello. Hey, Dad. Son, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, I started listening to your show about a year and a half ago when I was living down in San Diego, and uh, you completely changed my life. Love that. The more I treat girls like crap, the more ass I get, which is nice. That's what happens. But I got this broad that wants me to... I met her a couple weeks ago in Huntington. She wants me to drive up to Santa Monica to see her. It's an hour drive, man. I'm not putting up with that crap. <laughs> like, if you want it, you come down here, honey. If not, I'll just keep banging my same uh, yoga instructor for all yeah. I care. Call me whenever you're in the area. Call me whenever you have time. Be like the geese squad. Whenever you're in my area, give me a ring. Exactly. So I just want to call and say thank you, Tom. Uh, you changed my life. And for all the other guys out there, start treating women like crap and uh, you'll get more ass. That's what you got to do, John. Jason on Like Us 101. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. All right, Tom. I got a quick question for you, man. Yeah. Uh, so you're in the bar, you're in the meat market, and you're just hanging out and wait till they come to you. So then what do you, you just hang out and you kind of let them talk? Let and them then, talk. Let them come up with an opening line. Let them ask questions. All right, take me up. <laughs> That's I'll it. Take you out, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, quickly, and I'm not kidding, which means this call is going to drag on forever. Moose on the Tom Likas show. Hey man, I was just going to tell you, I, I uh, met a girl about five years ago. We've been together, and I've uh, been listening to you for a long time, and uh, took your advice, and we had a kid. It was an accident, but I've been really happy. But, no, no, uh, no, no, I, no. Wait a minute. Wait, it's not an accident. You made that happen. Yeah, I made it happen. It wasn't an accident, but... Well, we why, why'd you say it was an accident? Okay, I apologize, man. I'm sorry. But anyways, I've been uh, real happy with her and the baby and, and had a lot of fun. But uh, we both listened to you and we took your advice. We're not getting married. And we decided, why well, ruin a good thing. We have a lot of fun together. And uh, she kind of uh, looks at it like you do. Well, I put a contract on something when it doesn't need to be. And I uh, just want to tell you, thanks for the advice, man. I appreciate it. Well, I'm glad that worked out for you. Of course, I wouldn't be having babies with anybody. Oh, boy. That's an expense I don't need. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The live stream of our program is found at BlowMeUpTom.com. Go to the Listen Live button. Click on it. You'll be listening live between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Or go to MySpace.com slash T-O-F-L-E-Y-K-I-S. It's the Tom Likas Show.